There has been an explosion! Our stock market exploded thanks to Reddit harnessing the power of GameStop and entering into battle with Wall Street. It is the internet versus Wall Street. Now, we as Americans have been able to, uh, well, turn the tables a little bit against corporate greed. The key player here is GameStop, a video game store that looked like it was dying off like a wounded animal, but the subreddit Wall Street Bets shot some adrenaline into the animal and now it's running wild. And Wall Street Bets is an interesting place to say the least. <laughs> a lot of people there are just sharing memes, you know, calling each other idiots and other stuff. <laughs> people are making millions. After all, you've got people like deep effing value on Reddit's Wall Street Bets forum, betting $50,000 as a YOLO and turning that into now $47.9 million. Frankly, I don't understand the market or Wall Street aside from knowing that there are fat cats there, and I've just learned that these kitties might have an interest in short selling stocks. Short sellers are people who bet against stocks. You're dead, so we're going to short you to oblivion. They go, uh, uh oh, that, that company's not doing well, so I wanna, I'm gonna make it do worse. The formula is simple it seems. Borrow some stocks, hope they fall, sell, and buy back a lower price, and then when they fall, and give it back to the borrower. Essentially, betting that stocks will go down. And then all of a sudden comes Reddit. You have a group of people on Reddit who are like, hey, let's jam these dudes up. And a lot of people saw this as an opportunity to, you know, make some people bleed. GameStop was a target, a lost cause, people didn't pay any mind to it. But people took notice of how, the sh how many short sellers were betting that things would go down, and they jumped at the opportunity and implemented a short squeeze. It's dangerous to short stock. And people noticed this. GameStop was uh, ludicrously shorted. More than 148% of the stock had been sold short, which is nuts. Hmm. They have to buy back the shares that they borrowed, but there's not going to be that many shares available. That's going to raise the price. I'm gonna buy. They um, went into their bank accounts and then they also went to the market and they were like, uh, bye, bye, bye. I mean, you can see that the growth, the percentage there, 12,093% growth. You can imagine how much money people made if they bought stock when it was in the single digits. Meanwhile, the people who shorted the company, who thought the company would fail, they're losing billions of dollars. According to Business Insider here, GameStop short sellers have lost $5 billion this year as Reddit's day trader army squeezed their bearish bets. They now have to buy them back at a much, much higher price point. They're gonna lose so much money from this. And so the positions are kind of reversed. The rich suddenly get poorer and the poor get richer. The little guys are now winning, but billionaires and the rich are not having it. They're angry. The reason the market is doing what it's doing is people are sitting at home getting the checks from the government, okay? And this fair share is a bullshit concept. It's just a way of attacking wealthy people and, you know, I think it's inappropriate. We all got to work together and pull together. But they're very smart about what to target. Wait a minute. What you just said, target. So here's my question. How is it that they can target and that's legal? And if there was in the old days a bear raid, that was illegal. When does this become manipulation, Jim? It's such a tough question because remember, what's manipulation? How about if an analyst came out right now and said, I think GameStop is going to 250. Would we give that, that person a, a pass? Yes, because of the very First different. Amendment. Very, no, very, no, very, listen very to me. Different. It's First Amendment protection versus the idea of a group getting together to bust the shorts. But if the group is not a real group, it's just a lot of people who love it, it's going to be very hard for the U.S. attorney to do anything, Herb. What is it? The SEC. They're not. They're, what kind of case do they have? We like the stock. We like the stock. I mean, that's... That's the kid where Ryan Cohen got so, in. He bought 15% at $8. He's on the board. We like the stock. How is that bad? Or do you think that they're concentrated and doing some sort of manipulation if they say they like the stock? Well, I don't know if they're concentrated because I don't have subpoena power and I can't really go well, out and look at it. Your I, don't even, I, I can, I can <laughs> argue. I don't even know if there are foreign powers at work here behind Will the scenes stop? trying to make chaos of our markets. Let me First of all, all of this nonsense, all of this noise, all of this whining by Wall Street, it's making me sick. 
140% of GameStop was short. I didn't hear one person on TV complaining about Wall Street trying to crush GameStop. 140% short. I told my subscribers, buy this stock, and they made a fortune. I also told them to buy Virgin Space, uh, Virgin. We took profits on that today. Fizz, that's up huge. Tangers is up huge. Neil, you can't allow Wall Street to short 75% of a stock, and nobody says anything. Crush these companies into the dirt, and then when the individual investor makes money, everyone's up in arms. Oh, they're going to lose their shirt? Don't you think people are trading? If they traded 80 billion shares today, people are ringing the register. I have a kid who bought a house. He had he made fifty thousand dollars and bought a house. So yes, yeah, some people are going to lose, and some are going to win. But if you want to, if they want to change the rules of the game now because the general public is making money after decades of the shorts crushing thousands of stocks into the dirt, I have watched stocks being crushed completely to zero, uh, and no one ever whispered anything because those stocks didn't have Wall Street sponsorship. They were small names. Maybe they went public through a reverse takeover. Whatever it was, the shorts have had their way with the market for decades. No one's ever complained about it. So I am thrilled. If you were going to try to destroy a company by shorting 140 percent of its stock, you have to accept the fact that individual investors are playing the same game that you're playing, and now you're losing. Robinhood was the main way for the little guys to get into the market and make this happen. But after the chaos erupted, people were no longer able to buy stocks relating to GameStop and other hot ticket ones that would make money. So it seems the rich are losing and manipulating the market so they don't. What the hell is going on? I want you to address the obvious. This looks like a move by an outfit called Robinhood, which is supposed to be taken from the rich and given to the poor, and doing exactly the opposite. That when the big guys, including one of your main investors in your company, started to lose, you shut down the game to starve the little guy. Fair criticism. That's not what it is at all. You know, we had to make a very difficult decision to protect uh, our customers and our firm. Why? Uh, but we in no way... Uh, why? Explain why you had to do it if it wasn't to protect the guys who had shorted uh, the stocks, which are the big hedge funds. How are you helping the little guy investors. This decision was not made on the direction of any market maker or uh, other market participants. There's so why'd you do it? Decision. So we haven't really seen anything like this before. The unfortunate reality is that we don't live in the world of free market capitalism. We live in a rigged system where people that have more money are able to change the rules so that when you and I lose, we lose everything. But when they make a bad decision, eh, somehow it always works out differently. So Wall Street, all of a sudden, is calling foul on the system because regular people, the average Joe, people who are not at the top 1%, are now doing the exact same thing Wall Street have been doing all these years. Now that people are doing that to Wall Street, all of a sudden, the game's rigged.